Hi everyone. So today we will be talking about one of the most uh, important functions of vitamin A that is related to our vision and that is known as the Wall's visual cycle. This cycle was uh, illustrated by a scientist whose name was George Walt and that's why the name is given as Wall's visual cycle. This is also known as uh, rhodopsin cycle. The process the, of our vision uh, occurs in a uh, cyclic pathway and uh, that cyclic pathway today we will discuss that cyclic pathway in this lecture first of all you uh, should know that uh, the retina of our eye possess, possesses two type of uh, cells uh, that are known as the rods and the cones uh, the rods are located in the periphery of the retina whereas the cones are located at the central part of the retina approximately human eye possess uh, around uh, 10 million rods and 5 million cones. And the rods help in dim light vision, whereas the cones help in bright light or color vision. Animals such as cats and dogs and owls possess mostly rods. That's why they have a better uh, dim light vision. So let's start with the very basic that is the rhodopsin molecule. What is this rhodopsin molecule? The ro rhodopsin molecule is present in the rod cells of our, the retina of our eye and this is basically a conjugated protein with a molecular weight of around 35,000. When the 11 cis retinal combines with opsin, opsin is a protein. When this opsin protein combines with the 11 cis retinal which is the vitamin A uh, form, uh, vitamin A aldehyde, then this 11 cis retinal plus opsin makes a conjugated protein which is known as rhodopsin. In this part, in this cycle, we will discuss the synthesis of this rhodopsin, that how uh, this rhodopsin is resynthesized and synthesized and again it is resynthesized and then it is cleaved again. We will discuss that cycle. So when the sunlight or any other light falls on this rhodopsin molecule then the photon in the light will break down this rhodopsin into opsin molecule and a nerve impulse will be generated. Here is the nerve impulse. The nerve impulse will, we will study this in detail in this cycle here but first of all you have to notice that how rhodopsin is broken down to opsin and how rhodopsin is resynthesized from the opsin molecule. So when photon hits the rhodopsin, then this rhodopsin is cleaved to opsin molecule and all transretinal and a nerve impulse is initiated. Then this all transretinal is isomerized by retinal isomerase enzyme. This enzyme is present in the retinal epithelial cells. Retinal epithelial means the epithelial cells in the retina of our eye. So in the retina of our eye in the epithelial cells there is a specific enzyme which is known as retinal isomerase. That enzyme will isomerize the all transretinal <coughs> into 11 cis retinal and this 11 cis retinal will again combine with this opsin molecule here and will make rhodopsin. So rhodopsin is resynthesized and this all process occurs in milli of millionth of seconds. It means that this all cycle and this all process occurs very very fastly. But all transretinal could not be isomerized to all trans uh, to 11 cis retinal form. Therefore, the remaining all transretinal are transported to the liver. Then in the liver, there is a specific enzyme which is known as alcohol dehydrogenase. Then this alcohol dehydrogenase will catalyze this all transretinal and will convert into, will convert it into all transretinol. Uh, there is the alcoholic form of vitamin A. So all transretinol has now been formed and in this reaction NADH will be converted into NAD plus. 
then in the liver all trans retinol will be isomerized to 11 cis retinol by isomerase enzyme this reactions also take place in the liver and from here the 11 cis retinol will be converted to 11 cis retinol that is the aldehyde form again by that enzyme that is alcohol dehydrogenase and nad which uh, nadh which was which was converted to nad plus here in the first reaction will be converted back to the original form which is the nad plus will be converted into nadh plus hydrogen ion so this was all about the synthesis and cycling of rhodopsin which is known as Swartz visual uh, cycle that how rhodopsin uh, when the light fa falls on the rhodopsin how opsin is uh, removed from rhodopsin and how rhodopsin is resynthesized but the actual function of rhodopsin what is the actual function of rhodopsin in the nerve impulse in the propagation and generation of nerve impulse that we will discuss here in this cycle here you should know one basic uh, terminology related to the visual cycle that is the dark adaptation time when someone shifts from a very bright light or a very bli uh, bright place uh, into a dim light then the rhodopsin which is stored in our retina that stores of rhodopsin are depleted and the person's vision is impaired so he cannot see for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes in that dim light or de that uh, dark area for a couple of seconds then again this rhodopsin molecule is resynthesized and the vision is improved so that, that specific time in which the person shifts from bright light into dim light and he cannot see for a couple of seconds or uh, up to one or two minutes that specific time is called dark adaptation time individuals uh, who are suffering from the deficiency of vitamin a they have greater dark adaptation time and uh, when the dark adaptation time is increased it means that in that in that uh, particular individual there is deficiency of vitamin a so that was a basic uh, terminology about the which was related to the to the visual cycle now we come to the nerve impulse that how the nerve impulse helps in the visual cycle and how the nerve impulse is initiated by this rhodopsin molecule so when the photon in the light hits the rhodopsin molecule then the rhodopsin is converted into meta rhodopsin 2 it is a intermediate molecule in the rhodopsin cycle then this meta rhodopsin 2 is formed then this meta rhodopsin 2 will activate this protein that is known as the transdu transducing protein first of all this trans transducing protein is inactive then this meta rhodopsin 2 will come and will activate this uh, uh, transducing protein so now the transducing protein has now been activated but for the activation of this transducing protein we need some energy so that energy is provided by this GTP molecule that is the guanosine triphosphate so in this GTP is converted into GDP that is the guanosine diphosphate uh, one phosphate bond is broken down and the energy released is used in the used in the activation of uh, transducing protein then this transducing protein will activate CGP, CGMP phosphodiesterase enzymes CGMP means cyclic guanosine monophosphate and phosphodiesterase enzymes so when CGP, uh, CGMP phosphodiesterase enzyme is activated now here the phosphodiesterase enzyme is activated by this activated transducing protein then this activated phosphodiesterase enzyme will convert the CGMP that is the cyclic guanosine monophosphate guanosine monophosphate and cyclic form this enzyme will convert that cyclic form uh, of the guanosine to guanosine monophosphate that is the normal uh, form of guanosine monophosphate but how 
really the nerve impulse is initiated what does this mean when this cyclic gmp is degraded by this phosphodiesterase enzymes then the concentration of uh, this cyclic gmp is reduced in the retina of the eye and that re reduction that lower uh, that uh, decrease in the cyclic gmp will close the sodium channels in the uh, cells located in the retina of the eye and when the sodium channels are blocked then sodium cannot pass into the interior or exterior of the cell and that this causes the hyperpolarization of that particular cell that or the or that are our uh, rods in the retina of our eyes so the hyperpolarization is occurred and the membrane polarization action potentials will be generated and the uh, membranes in the um, right in the rod cells in the retina of our eye and that action potentials will cause a very hyper polarization and that hyper polarization will initiate a nerve impulse into the um, uh, visual cortex of our brain and that visual cycle is finally completed so the brain has now received the information about what we see in this photon and what we see in this light in other words what we see in this light so uh, that was all about the world's visual cycle that how the pathway is initiated first of all from rhodopsin this is the synthesis of rhodopsin and resynthesis of rhodopsin uh, that is in cyclic form which is known as world's visual cycle and now we will dis uh, we have uh, discussed uh, in uh, detail about rhodopsin that how the rhodopsin helps in the visual pathway and how the nerve impulses initiated and generated and now and finally is propagated to the visual cortex of our brain by this rhodopsin molecule okay after this we will discuss uh, some more important functions of vitamin a and uh, that are also uh, the most important functions of vitamin a but that we will discuss briefly not so much in details like this one and after that we will discuss the deficiency manifestations of uh, vitamin A and hypervitaminosis A.